Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I want to introduce you to GD Launcher, which is a new and upcoming launcher for Minecraft. I've been watching it over several versions and it gets nicer and nicer each time. It's uh, in very active development and the developers seem very responsive to changes and all that kind of stuff. So it is a cross-platform Windows, Mac, and Linux open source launcher, uh, which is cool, written in JavaScript. So we can have very modern interface and all that to it. Uh, and it has some really nice features, some of which we'll go over in this video, uh, but some unique stuff. So let's take a look at the launcher itself. I can go here to GD Launcher, which has the gorilla icon. So it's got a bit of swag to it. Uh, and this is the launcher window. Obviously you're gonna need an account. So when you first launch, you'll need to enter your Minecraft credentials. Uh, but here on the homepage, you can get some news. You can get a link to Patreon to help support development, as well as a discord to get support and discuss with other users. Uh, GitHub for the open source stuff and then the rest of the uh, social links. All right, so we're gonna install a simple mod pack. So we wanna go to the instances panel here and we can browse for cursed mod packs right inside of the launcher here, which is really, really nice. All right, so we can filter. I'm just gonna get a small 1.14.4 pack uh, called Oddly Vanilla, just cause it's a small pack and uh, we can easily handle it. So I'm gonna go to the explore area here and you can get information about the pack right within the launcher, which is cool too. So you can see the number of downloads, who the author is when it was last updated. Now, a lot of this is dependent upon the uh, mod pack author, what they've put in their descriptions, but you can get all the information that they have available on CurseForge. And this one's nice because it shows you the 114 mod list. It shows you the 112 mod list uh, and information like that. But in a nice scrolling panel where you can get everything you need. So let's go ahead and download it. And we're going to select the latest version and create a new instance. Okay. And it'll start pulling stuff down into the uh, main area, the main instance window here. So let's right click on that while it's doing that and see that we can open the folder out on disk so we can, you know, manage our configs, uh, see the mods or manage the mods on disk, resource packs, then there'll be saves and all that kind of stuff after you launch. So you have easy access to that. Uh, this is a small mod pack, so it'll just take a second. Let's let it go ahead and pull down. Um, you would manage your accounts and stuff through the settings here on the main uh, up in the main toolbar you can see it has nice overlay messages that tells you what's going on so all right there's the mod pack pulled down uh, we can right click on it and take a look at some of the things we can do with it so here's the manage uh, command where we opens up a new window and we can see that we could rename the pack here uh, we could remove this forge version and reinstall it if we wanted there's also this thing called the companion mod uh, that's from the Gorilla devs, uh, the people that make this pack, I suppose, that enables you to get more detailed tracking on it uh, so you can get more precise stats and all that so you can choose to enable that or not. Uh, you could choose to manage this memory, your memory per instance, if you wanted to do that uh, in the Jogaba arguments, or you could just accept the global stuff that you've put in settings. All right, now in the mods manager area, you get a full list of all the mods. You're able to see which ones could be updated. Um, and then you're able to select and delete certain mods. You're able to disable them, uh, which is really cool. And you could filter the mod list to just see certain things. So if I just wanna see JEI, that's real nice. And then I can also add mods with the plus sign here, uh, which will give me a browser to be able to browse for mods where I could search, tells me which one's installed, all that really really nice guys really nice so if i go into the mod pack versions i can get a change log uh, see which versions are available i can update the mod pack from here which is really nice again uh, so great features guys uh, now on resource packs and worlds and screenshots all that's coming soon but again you can manage that out on your disk Okay, so let's go ahead and do a launch real quick. So we can double click it or we can right click to get the launch and then it will configure forge and things as it needs and uh, do your first launch of the pack. All right, now you can see along the side here that it tells us the version that we have, how many mods is in the pack, how long we've played it for, all that kind of stuff. And then there's some social stuff that I suppose you could send out uh, to show what you're doing on this pack, all right? and that's pretty cool so 
uh, we're able to import instances. Uh, let this window go. So this is Minecraft launching. Uh, we're able to again to use this mod packs area to browse for more mod packs. Um, all embedded within the launcher, which is really super nice uh, to be able to do that. And of course, all your mod packs will go into this window. Now, one thing that I did notice about this as well is that there's a command to repair the pack, which is unique. So I'm supposing if you've made changes to the pack or whatever, and something's broken or whatever, you could just re-download that whole pack with the uh, repair command and fix it. So that would be very nice. Now we have our launch here um, and works perfect. That's a 114 Forge pack. So excellent that uh, it supports that newest versions. So guys, that's pretty much it for this introduction video to the GD Launcher by Gorilla Devs for Minecraft. Check it out, guys. It's pretty cool. This is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.